Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to another Amazon Best Buys video. Today, I'm gonna to share with you about 25 products that I bought on Amazon and that I really love and I really do rate. They haven't asked me to make this video, but I just happen to shop on Amazon for everything pretty much. I just find it really convenient as a busy mum. I could just order something and the very next day it's here. And I find some really good buys on there. So I'm excited to share them with you today. And I'm actually in my kitchen because a lot of these products are kitchen and home related. There's also a few cleaning products and a few things for the kids as well. So I hope you really enjoy it. If you're new to my channel, I would love you to subscribe and stick around. And I actually make a video like this every six months or so. This is actually the ninth Amazon Best Buys that I've ever made. So if you do like this, definitely go back and watch the whole playlist because there are some amazing things that I found on there, like for the kids and just in general. Um, so anyway, I really hope you like this video and I will actually do timestamps as well down below. So if you're watching me talk about a product and you think that's actually not for me, feel free to skip ahead. I know we're all very busy people. And of course, I'll link all the products in the description down below if you want to go ahead and check them out or click through to buy it, you can do that as well. Um, with all that said, let's get into today's video. So the first product that I wanted to share with you guys is one that I've been using nonstop and every time I share it on Instagram, I get so many questions and comments about it. And it's a roll up dish drying rack that actually goes on top of your sink so that when you put dishes on it, it actually drips straight into the sink. But I've also been using it as a place to watch vegetables over the sink if I want to, or I've even even been using it as like a hot plate. If I have like a hot pot, I'll just stick it on top of that. It's brilliant. There's also like a little cutlery attachment as well, which I've also been using. And it was about 17 pounds, I believe, but I'll link it in the description. You can also get it without the cutlery bit, like just a roll up drying rack. Um, and it's just brilliant. It's been such a game changer. We have a bigger sink now, so it really does work for us. And the next buy I thought would be perfect for this time of year, and it is a pack of 12 12 white pumpkins. They're artificial, of course, um, and you get lots of different sizes. So you get big ones like this, but then you also get quite a few tiny ones like that. And I've just found them really easy to decorate with. I've got some on these shelves here. I've also put some on the tiny shelves next to our stove. And I just think they're, they're like autumnal, but not like orange and offensive. They kind of go in any room and I've really liked kind of decorating with them. Next up, I wanted to show you this set of silicone utensils that we got. We've just had our kitchen done and we had so many different utensils and some had just had it, some were metal and scratching our pans. So we needed to replace a few anyway. And this pack of 24 was 28 pounds and there's literally everything that you'll need in it. There's like a whisk, um, so many flippers and spatulas and you even get your measuring cups and your measuring spoons as well. So I just thought it was really good value for money and you can get it in different colors, but I thought this color kind of goes with ours perfectly. And we've actually had some storage built next to the stove where it all sits. And I just like the way that it looks. And I'm just kind of pleased that everything's kind of matching now as well. So I wanted to share that with you because I thought it was quite good value for money. Oh, and while we're on the topic of utensils, we also replaced our cutlery as well with this set of black cutlery that I found on Amazon. There's black accents throughout our kitchen. So we thought that that would look really, really nice. And we hadn't updated our cutlery for a very long time. And for this set of 16 stainless steel pieces, it was about $17.99. And yeah, we just love the way they look. It's like a little bit different. And next up, I wanted to share with you a product for the kids, well actually specifically for boys. And I wonder if you guys know what this might be used for just by looking at it. But this is something I wish I'd had sooner. I I saw my friend who has two boys use this in Disney World. It is a little potty or a little urinal, a little emergency toilet, and it's so compact. It can actually fit on the side of your bag or in the bottom of your buggy, or we actually keep this in the car for emergencies. Obviously my boys are a lot older, so it's not as big a stress, um, but we have used this in traffic before and it's just really handy to have. So in the past we had this kind of potty. We've had it for so many years and it's been brilliant. It's like a little portable one that you can open up and they can actually sit on. And we've usually just kept this in the car, but now that the boys are that bit older, we just have this 
this. Like I said, we got stuck in really bad traffic and rather than get the kids out on like what was quite a dangerous highway, they could just use this. Even the older boys used this and it's just brilliant. So if you do have a little boy, um, I think this was $7.99. I also wanted to share with you some amazing kitchen storage, which is so aesthetically pleasing, but also really handy as well. We bought a set of five bamboo storage holders for our bags. Obviously, we always try to use Tupperware whenever we can, but there are times like with um, school trip lunches, certain snacks or freezer meals as well, where we do actually use bags. So you get different sizes. There's a sandwich one, a snack one, a gallon one for freezer meals, a quartz one, and another one as well. I think our exact set is currently sold out, but I'll try and link a very similar one in the description. But they just look great in the drawer and we loved them so much that we then went on to buy um, like storage for our tin foil, our cling film, and our parchment paper as well. And with that storage, there's even like a little cutter on it. So you just pull the parchment paper out and then it's very like easy to cut to get the exact right size as well so I'll link all of that down below but we love the way that it looks and the way that it works as well I also purchased these very professional looking olive oil holders. I've never had these before, um, but I bought a pack of four on Amazon. I think it was about 20 pounds. And now I've got like my olive oil in it. You can have chili oil, like sesame oil, whatever it is you use. And I've actually filled one up with our fabric softener as well. And it's so easy when I'm doing the wash just to pour it in like that. It's very simple to pour. And when I'm cooking, it's just really satisfying. It's the kind of product you get and you're like, why have I never had this before? When I just had it in the normal packaging, I would often use too much oil as well. So I've really been loving it. And now onto a cleaning product. Everyone always goes crazy for my spray mop, which I've shown so many times, but I actually recently got a new one because we've got new real wood floors and I just wanted to make sure I got the right one. So apparently this is for real wood floors. I'm so scared to mark this floor, guys. I'm really careful with the products that we use on it as well. Um, I got this. It's almost just like a fluffier microfiber head on it. You get four different heads for it. I think it was about £23.99. And what I like about it is it's still got this like container which you take off, you fill it up with your product or diluted product, then you put it back on and as you're mopping, you can be spraying. And it's just really, really quick. My Addis mop, I would still really recommend and it's cheaper. I think it's like £16. It might even be less than that. I'll link it down below. Um, but that is still going strong it's really robust I've had it forever and I just love it it just really makes mopping quick and while we're on the topic of cleaning products I also wanted to show you this clear cleaning caddy that I got on Amazon I keep this in our utility room under the sink and it has everything in it that I need to clean the bathroom so I've got my spray my toilet products I've got gloves scrubbies and my favorite type of cloth as well it's just the perfect size it's really really cute and I liked that it was clear and I also got some great clear storage at the same time which I also keep under that cupboard it all looks really sleek and it was actually more reasonable than the other clear storage that I bought from John Lewis it was better value for money so I'll link all of that below and I also wanted to share with you this cloth I know it doesn't look like much but I shared recently in my utility um, tour that I love these cloths. These are my absolute favorite. These are the Marigold squeaky clean cloths. I just feel like you never really get streaks with them. They're great on mirrors, they're great on surfaces. So I ended up buying quite a few because I was always kind of like looking for my favorite one. Um, so now I've got some really good stock of that. So if you want a good cloth, I'll link it down below. I know that might sound really random. I also have a book recommendation for you guys and it is this one, it's called Man Manifest. And if you follow me for a while, then you might know that I actually normally just listen to audiobooks. I really like to download them, put them on my AirPods, and then I can actually be cleaning or doing things around the house while also taking in information. I find that's the best way for me personally to keep up with any kind of reading. I feel really guilty when I actually sit down and read for some reason. Um, so I actually listened to this book 
I downloaded it and I liked it so much that I ordered a physical copy as well. So I don't know if you guys are into manifesting or if you've read the book The Secret or The Magic. I really like both of those books. I'll link them down below as well. Um, the Secret is a, a little bit hippy dippy, but it's something that I really do subscribe to. And they've also made it into a movie now as well that you can just watch. Um, but it's interesting. It's basically like what you think about is what you bring about. And it really focuses your mind on the things that you actually want and helps you kind of manifest them into your life. And I feel like I've manifested a lot of different things, um, like this house being one of them. I used to drive past it every day and try and imagine myself here and think, oh, I'd love to live in a place like that. I know that's really extreme, but um, if you're into that, I feel like this book, it kind of breaks it down into seven simple steps on how to manifest. So if you did like the secret or the magic, then this might be a nice like refresher. There's also a few products that we recently bought for our new utility room that I wanted to show you guys because they've just been brilliant. The first one is our new laundry basket. They're lightweight, but they're also on wheels. So if they are really full with laundry, you can actually just wheel them around. It's very simple to use. They were pretty inexpensive as well. And we got a light one for lights. We got a dark one for the darks. And then I think they even did other ones if you wanted one for colors as well but they fit perfectly into our little airing cupboard and yeah I just really like that they're on wheels or you could even just buy wheels glue them onto the bottom of your laundry basket if you already had one that you really liked but I just find it's really handy so that's the first one the next one um, it's such a simple small product but I really love how it works it's just this little broom holder it's sticky on the back so it's very easy for anyone to install and I put this in the cupboard up there for our mop and for, um, I think it's like a feather duster I keep on there as well. But I'm also using one for our loft stick. And it's just really handy. You know, you have a product that just kind of like leans there. Now you can actually get it off the floor and almost give it its own space. So I really like that. And the other one in that room is the little lint um, bin. I ordered this on Amazon because I wanted, like I didn't need a bin in our utility room but then I did need somewhere to put the lint and I just thought this was so very cute and it takes actually quite a lot of lint so you don't have to empty it all the time so just kind of like fill it up and then empty it after like a month or so and yeah I just really like it's like a small silly product but I really really like it and this next product would be a perfect gift for a child or person who loves coloring drawing doodling as well it's actually my youngest son's birthday next weekend so we've got him a new set of ohuhu pens they are brilliant quality they're his favorite to color with and you can get all different size sets but i've got him an absolutely gigantic one for his birthday i'll try and do a cutaway so you can see just how many he's got in this i think it's 160 but there's brilliant colors all the pens have two sides to it like a thicker one and a thinner one and he takes really good care of them he's always putting them back in the right place because it's like a really nice case as well so if you do need an idea for someone who loves to color that would be a really really good one more amazing kitchen storage we've actually been loving the oxo containers for our new kitchen so i got two of these cereal containers i've got one for cheerios one for weetabix as well but they just feel very good quality the top goes like this and it's really easy for the kids to pour. They're a great size as well, so I wanted to show you those. And then also for our kitchen, I got a big pack of these little felt stickies. I actually got these again because I've been worrying about our wood floor, but I found that I've been using them for quite a few things. So I've actually put the tiny ones on the bottom of furniture, so all of our new chairs and things like that. But also we got a nice cutting board when they made our kitchen. They made a cutting board um, which is the same as the surface. So I actually put a few of the pads on the bottom of that so that it doesn't kind of scratch on the bottom. And they've just been really handy, so simple to use. Obviously they're just stickers and you can stick it on the bottom of tables or chairs, etc. 
also wanted to share with you quite a sensible purchase that is one you might not even think about, but because we've done all this building work recently, we might have to change our home insurance and stuff. It made us think about getting a little fire extinguisher for our kitchen. This is one that you can have in the kitchen, in your car, or take it camping with you as well. And it combats five different types of, basically all the types of fires. So electrical, cooking oil, textiles, paper and card, and petrol fires as well. So now I've just got this to hand in the kitchen. If there was ever a fire on the stove or anywhere in the house, like I personally wouldn't know whether to throw water on something or smother something. Um, but now I've just got this to hand so it puts out fires in seconds. And I just thought it's quite a good one to have. I think it was 22 pounds as well. But if you needed it, you would be very grateful that you had it. Also, another cleaning product. It actually looks like one of those big microphones, but it is in fact an extendable cobweb cleaner. Matt actually got this and he got it to clean our zinc. If you follow my Instagram home account, you will have seen I made a reel about him using this because it was so funny. But it's also really handy in the corners inside as well. It goes very, very high. You can pretty much reach anything and it's washable. So you need to take the head off and wash it as well. And I know we're coming out of summer now, but I also wanted to share with you my kids' favorite goggles ever. These are brilliant. They're so comfortable. They don't let any water in. But what I also love is that there is UV protection in them. So when the kids are wearing them, they're almost like sunglasses. So they protect their eyes from the sun and they just really, really like them. They're also very hard wearing. We've had a pair like this for about five years and I'm only just replacing it now and they've worn it on every holiday. So they're about $9.95. Um, and I think adults can wear them as well, but they've just been amazing. So I thought it was worth sharing. And another homey product, which I get a lot of comments on are our little hand wash and washing up liquid containers, which I keep near the sink. So I've got like fairy liquid in that one and obviously just hand soap in that one. They're glass dark containers and I just use my little like label maker to write washing up liquid on it and soap as well. They've got like a pump, Thing on the top and I've had them for years. And the last product that I wanted to share with you guys is this electrical balloon pump. It looks like this. You just plug it in and it makes blowing up balloons so much easier. I get a bit extra when it comes to birthdays or any kind of celebration. Um, and recently we had friends over and I made this whole like balloon arch and everything. And it was made so much easier with this rather than a hand balloon pump. So I'm putting this right at the end because I feel like it's quite niche. But this was 15 pounds and I know it's something that I'm just gonna use year in, year out for everyone's birthdays. I even used it for Kiki's birthday as well to blow up the balloons. Um, but yeah, I think that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys today. I really hope you liked it. Let me know in the comments which product was your favorite. And it's been really nice actually just filming a sit down video to you guys. I feel like it's been so long because we have constantly had builders in the house making lots of noise. So I've kind of had to do voiceovers at night. And then obviously in the summer we had the kids at home. So I pretty much just did vlogs and day in the lives because you know, life is busy, but it would be really nice to actually get back to like sitting down with you guys and just talking um, and doing this type of thing. So I hope you like that because I'll obviously keep up my vlogs as well. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to routine, back to school. Um, I'm quite excited for it actually. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.